Aloha everyone, welcome back to my channel, Phantom Queen here, with episode 3 of Kindergarten. Uh, we're gonna be doing another nugget thing. Uh, what is this? Oh, okay. Uh, leave it here. I want... Yeah, like I said, we'll probably be doing another nugget thing. I want to put that money back. No, no, let me... Yeah, let me put it back. God dang it. I don't know how to put this back. How do I put this back? Uh... Okay. Sorry if you heard the mouse clicking right then. It it doesn't click that loudly for me on my end. But I noticed in my recent Sims video that went up on Friday that the clicking in the audio was actually pretty loud. I don't know how to fix that. I, I might need to get another new microphone because right now I'm not using one, but... Just the microphone that is in my laptop, and yeah, I don't know what's going on there, but let's get into the video. Yeah, I didn't need to... Yeah, just give the guy half. Give the guy half. I forgot to turn my timer on. I really need to get better about that. Honestly, I'm just glad to be recording again. Okay, 40 minutes is a go. Okay. Hi, my friends call me Nugget. Or they would if I had any. Nugget knows no love or friendship since Billy went missing. I'll be your friend. What is your offering? I have only friendship. Eh, perhaps that is all Nugget needs. You may have Nugget's Nugget. It signifies our friendship. Thank you. Weird. Okay. Uh, hey there, cutie. I'm Cindy. Uh, no, thank you. I don't know what else to do, so I'm gonna just... Huh. I think I figured out a way I could do the teacher's quest, but I'm gonna focus on Nugget for now. Okay, children, it's time to start the day. Everyone head inside for morning time. Go inside. Good morning, children. It's time for you to pick your butt. Yeah, yeah, we know. You got the same spiel every time. Nugget does not wish to spend morning time with you. Nugget is very busy. What are you busy with? You are curious about the ways of Nugget? Interesting. Perhaps you could be some use to Nugget. Nugget is... Ugh, <sighs> uh, I can't get the magnifying glass. Because I didn't get, get the yo-yo. Ugh, -yo. Oh, god dang it. I need to restart the, the day. Let's try this again, shall we? I have no clue what I'm doing. Not gonna lie, no clue. I just want to explore what Nugget does. Uh, I'll be your friend. What is your offering? I have only friendship. Thank you. I won't. Sure. Okay. Monty, my man, my boy, come here. I need the yo-yo. Yo-yo. Yes, thank you. Uh, I don't need anything else. Alright. Time for morning time, and we got right back to where we were. No, I don't... I don't want to be... Actually, who pairs up with who? Because Lily doesn't want to be a morning buddy with anyone. He doesn't want to be a morning buddy with anyone. 
These two broke up, so I don't think they'll be in Morning Buddies. Monty doesn't want to be a Morning Buddy. So I guess we're all just sad, pathetic, and alone children. Just like the teacher said. I was a little bit too rude there, but... Uh, what are you busy with? Yep. Perhaps. Okay, I guess. Uh, you mean this yo-yo. You can have it if you'll be my buddy. Yep, I'll do that. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I'm ready. Go to Stratford. I wonder if I could do that and this all at the same time. I don't know. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Here you go, Nugget. Yes, I have. Thank you. I probably could have done that. Should I just stop the room? No, no, no. Let's get to lunch, see what happens then. Go to lunch. Uh, you know, we'll... Yeah, I don't want to sit with you anyways. Hello, Nugget. Oh, come on! Mm. Okay, well... Eat this. Go to recess. Nugget! No. I don't think I will. I'm not going, period. Back away from like it. Okay, yeah, I don't think this is... I think I need to restart the day. Maybe instead we should try the... the teacher, teacher's quest. Okay, well, that wasn't... Okay, well, that wasn't a good run. Though we did get a Monster Mine card, so... That walks. That walks. Uh, stop reading the card. Okay. What is the hints for the teacher's quest? Start the day by getting robbed by bugs and tattling on him. The teacher, the hall pass. Okay, yeah. I'm just gonna get rid of all of these new messages. Because they bug the heck out of me. There you are. Okay, let's try to do the teacher's quest. Uh, yes. Wait, now. Shoot. Restart day. I forgot to grab all the money! I forgot to grab the money. What am I doing today? Yes. Grab the money. Okay. Yes. Now I am. Yep. Yep. Here we go. Mm-hmm. All right. Cool. Miss Applegate. Applegate. I have been well endowed <laughs> with excellent teaching qualities. That's not the only thing you've been well endowed with. Can you stop bouncing your jugs on the top of my head, please? I am a child. I do not feel safe. I need an adult. Bug stole my money. He did? Interesting. I'll make you a deal. Bugs is a real troublemaker. He's a, he's violent and a danger to others. If you go over there and challenge him, I'll make it worth your while. Is this legal? Probably not, but if this is how I can stop my underground kid fighting ring, then it's a risk I'm willing to take. What if he hurts me? It'll build character. 
I think I'm building enough character right now as it is. What's in it for me? I'll give you a gold star. We all love gold stars, don't we? <sighs> I'm assuming you mean a gold star as in a sticker, sticker instead of a solid gold star, which I would prefer. Sure, why not? Okay. Oh, how I love a good kitty fight. Just go over there and push him a little. When he attacks back, just yell for me and I'll put a stop to it. Okay, why not? What do you want, dweeb? I'm not giving you your money back. Get out of here before I squish you. Squishing me won't make your dad come back. My dad will come back. He just went to the store to get some cigarettes is all, and he's totally not secretly the janitor. Get out of here or I'll beat you so hard, it'll make him proud. He'll never be proud of you. I am feeling bad. Oh boy. Yes, he will. If you don't leave right now, I'll kill you. Dying wouldn't be so bad. Fine, you asked for it. Call for teacher. How dare you attack another student? I'm provoked again. This is the last straw. I'm sending you to the principal's office so he can finally expel you. No, please don't. He started it. He's a liar. He said my dad was never coming back. Well, he's right. And after this little incident, neither are you. Now go to the principal's office, but I'll have the janitor carry you there. But, but... Stupid rat, we could have been friends if you didn't rat me out. Oh, happy day. I finally read of that little degenerate. Here's your gold store as promised. Thank you. Hmm. Now you got me thinking, though. Jerome thinks he's so high and mighty because he's the principal's kid. Why don't we arrange a trip for him to visit Daddy? Maybe we could. Oh, that's what I like to hear. Come see me during morning time and I'll tell you what to do. See you then. If you still have time, you might want to get rid of Cindy, too. You could easily get her expelled. If she falsely accuses you of something, you thought about this a lot, haven't you? That's concerning. What are your plans for me? You bet I have. Talk to Monty. I'm sure he has something that could help exonite you when she lies to get you in trouble. Sounds like a plan, but you also want to get rid of Monty eventually. Want to buy something? Voice recorder, that's good. Yep. I don't need anything else. Hey there, cutie. I'm Cindy. Want to be my boyfriend? I'm so through with bugs. What happened with bugs? We broke up. He was so jealous. He'll probably be mad if he sees me with anyone else. I'm not... No, I... No. Okay, uh, sure. Eh, that's what I like to hear, and we'll totally be the cutest couple in school, but first, you have to do something for me. Isn't our love enough? That's cute, but no, it isn't. You're gonna have to prove it to me. I'm not proving anything. Oh, come on. Again? How do I do that? No way. Oh my god, how? You're so mean. Excuse me, I know you did not- <laughs> What the fuck is that accent? I'm just gay for it. What? I didn't make her, like, Texan or something. Excuse me, I know you did not just say that to me, because if you did, I would have you taken out. I'd like to see you try. Fine, you asked for it. What are you gonna do? I am not repeating that word. Oh boy. You dear me, what on earth is going on over here? I heard someone cry that oh word. Yes, Miss Applegate, it was me. This boy tried to oh word me. I, I just feel uncomfortable saying the word, to be honest. I, I do not like it. Cindy, we've been over this. Boys not wanting to be your boyfriend does not count as the R word. But as per the school policy, I have to send you both to the principal. What? You're punishing me for almost being R worded? Now you listen to me, you little parasite. You are going to the prin 
Why did they both have basically the same voice? I am not a good voice actor. I would not make a good job as a voice actor. You're going to the principal's office and end of story. This is so unfair. Yeah, yeah, tell it to the principal. I'm sorry, Bugs, but you leave me no choice but to. Oh, what now? What are you two doing here? He tried to award me. Great. Well then, Bugs. It looks like you get off easy this time. Get out of here, you little dumpster fire. I'll be seeing you at recess, pal. Okay, you two, let's get this over with. So you're accusing your little friend here of trying to all award you, really, Cindy? Yes, sir. I could barely fight him off. You didn't even touch me. The black eye and the blood is from bugs. I'm going to assume you're going to deny that you all awarded her. Is that correct? What's all award? Uh, it's when a man, um, does some stuff. You know what? Ask your pants. No, wait, don't do that. What am I thinking? Just say you didn't do it. I didn't do it. That's what I thought. But since no one witnessed the incident and you don't have any proof, there's not much I can do except separate you two for a while. I recorded it. You did? Well, that makes this a hell of a lot easier. Cindy, do I even have to listen to this or will you make it easy on yourself and just admit nothing happened? But he what? They find me. He started it. He said I was mean. Not good enough. I think I'm going to enjoy not having you in my school for a while, Cindy. I'm going to keep this recorder in case there's any trouble when your awful mother calls. So I can't have it back? I spent money on that. No. No. Now why don't you run on back to class? I think you missed enough learning for today. Sure. Oh, you're back. Here's Cindy. What's your punishment? Nope. I have proof I didn't do it. So that means she's gone. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy, happy day. I was so sick of hearing, hearing all of her nonsense. You would have earned a gold store. Would have? Our little ruse didn't get rid of bugs like I'd hoped. But don't worry, there's plenty of time to handle that later. What about Drew? Oh. I forgot to get the yo-yo! Ah! I will be right back. I have to go restart the day and get the freaking yo-yo again. One second. One second. Okay, after trying it to get the yo-yo before, uh, I feel like I didn't have enough apples to do Cindy, so I restarted the day a couple more times before I just looked it up. Apparently, from what I saw, because I only looked one place, uh, you can buy it from Monty right here. The principal has informed me that one of his hall passes has gone missing. I bet Nugget's life that Jerome took it. What's Nugget's life worth to you? Not much, but I make a teacher's salary, so even by my student life valuing system, it's still a pretty significant percentage. Why don't you just take the pass? I'm not allowed to search a student without probable cause, and Lord knows there's no, there's no probable cause for searching the principal's son. That's why I need him to give it to you. I can do that. Excellent. Just go over there and get him to give it to you. Sorry if you guys hear voices in the background. My, my grandma and I think my stepdad are talking uh, about something near my door. Uh, I want to buy something... Oh, so I can buy the yo-yo here. Uh, deal. I'll get that. Don't need anything else. Uh, you mean this yo-yo? You can have it if you'll be my buddy. Like what? What do I do? I can do that. Got it. I'm ready. Go distract her. Give me a minute, Jerome is distracting me. I got the pass from Jerome. I knew it. Jerome, you little cockroach, we've been over this. You can't just steal your dad's hall passes. What? What? You ratted me out? To the teacher, dude? Dude. Yes, he did. He's a good little rat. Please stop calling me that. 
No, that's what you are. Teacher's, teacher's special little rat. Just like Jerome is teacher's special little suspended hooligan. Aw, oh, come on, bro. I thought you were cool. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You just wanted the yo-yo. Well, he's not. And because he's so uncool, he gets one of my special gold stars. Now, why don't you go take that pass back to your dad? I'm sure he'd love to know where it went. Man, stupid rat, getting me in trouble. My dad is going to kill me. Maybe literally, yeah. Oh, that was just perfect. You're a natural at this. Keep, Let's keep this cave removal train going, how? I have a special plan for Nugget. Just befriend the little weirdo by the time recess starts. Okay, I guess. Feel free to get any of the other kids in trouble while you're at it. You'll have to get creative, though. I'll try. Nugget does not wish to spend morning time with you. Nugget is very busy. Do you want to be friends? Oh, Nugget normally spends morning time alone. He eats lunch alone and lives life alone. Nugget supposes he could be your friend if... If what? If you eat this nugget... Ah, oh God, he's poisoning me. That's it? Yes, do this with Nugget and we will be friends. Okay, good. Now remember the taste of the nugget. We will dine together at nu lunch. Nugget will see you then. Okay. Mm. Okay, I won't. Do I need anything from in here? A screwdriver? Fine. Dollar. Why not? I might have just messed up, but whatever. Whatever. Let's go to lunch. Nugget is pleased you have returned. Tell Nugget the nugget you consumed was, was very tasty, yes? I guess we're poison. You couldn't taste the poison? Wow, you really just went out and said it. Nugget poisoned the nugget. Yeah, I kind of knew, but am I going to die anyways? Perhaps that depends on what you do next. Bugs just do through a slap at you. Yes, he does that every day, but today Nugget has poison. And you are going to poison Bugs for Nugget. Why would I do that? Because, because Bugs also has the antidote that will save your life. How do I poison him? Here is another Nugget. It is quite similar to the one you just ate. Only this one is far more potent. Just get Bugs to give to eat it. I'll try. Better hurry. Nugget thinks you have before the bell rings before the poison does its work. Yeah, makes sense. No way a worm like you is gonna be sitting with me. I need you to eat this. What? Why? What is it? It's a nugget. Yeah, I can see that, but you didn't make it clear asking what it was. Why the heck would I want to eat something you gave me? Because otherwise you'll look like a sissy. What? Who around here thinks that I'm a sissy? Because I won't eat a stupid nugget. Cindy. What? Cindy doesn't think I'm a sissy. Well, she won't if she eat this nugget. Yeah, give me the nugget. I'll show her. You showed her. Is it done? Has Bugs been poisoned? It's done. Wonderful. Yeah. Nugget is quite pleased if what you say is true. Bugs should die any moment now. And there he goes. Here's the antidote as promised. Nugget hopes you feel better. Please come see Nugget at recess. Nugget would like to show you something. Right. I figured I'd be seeing you around now. Slap is no good and I don't think anyone is brave enough to try a biscuit from the janitor. Dumb old man can't even spell it right. Never mind. You spelled biscuit wrong. No, no, I didn't. How would you even know? You can't even read. Monty can. Uh, is that the dweeb with the glasses? Who am I kidding? Of course it is. Hey, now it. Um, what do you want? Got some janitor stuff to sell me? No, but I got a coffin for you to buy. Let this be a lesson to you about correcting people's spelling. There. Lessons were learned. Lines were drawn. Yeah. 
You're a good kid for letting me know that little monster is going around correcting spelling. And in the school of all places. Shameful the ways kids turn out these days. Yeah, shameful. But you seem to be one of the good ones. Thank you. I hope that makes it lets me survive. You just let the good old Daniel know if anyone else has anything to say about his spell. Oh, these glasses blew off the Nord's face when I hit him. You can have them. These old eyes don't miss a thing. Right. Thanks. What are you doing there, Sonny? Want some tasty, nutritious slop for lunch? Can I go to the bathroom? Oh, I'm not allowed to let any new kitties out in the hall during lunch. But maybe you could do me a little something if you wanted me to look the other way. Like what? Well, I seem to have misplaced my glasses, Sonny. These old eyes can't see... Can't read the menu without him. See if you could find a pair lying around, and I'll let you out. Here's some. I love it. Thank you so much, Sonny. Go on, go ahead and do what you gotta do. I won't stop ya. Not like I could, anyways. Uh, knock on the door. What the? It's lunchtime. Who's knocking on my door? What are you doing? You're gonna get us both in trouble. What are you kids doing out here? You should be in the cafeteria. Lily was eavesdropping on you. If Lily was eavesdropping, then what were you doing? I knocked to let you know. Lily, we've been over this. I had nothing to do with your brother's disappearance. Why don't you step inside my office and we'll talk this over again? I know it was you. One day I'll prove it. I'm getting real sick of this young lady office now. Please excuse me for a moment. Oh, God. That actually made me jump a bit. Okay. Okay, thank you for letting me know about her. I'm sure you heard the recess bell. Why don't you go out and play? I'm not going to say anything and just keep on going. Well done! You got Lily, Monty, and Bugs. That's unprecedented. You've won three gold stars. What about Nugget? Did you manage to befriend a little mole creature? Yep. Excellent. You see that hole he's standing by over there? He's been digging it for a few days now. I'm pretty sure he's gone straight through the bottom of the box. Wow, that that's impressive. What is he digging with? Is he digging with the tiny plastic uh, shovels that they give you in kindergarten? I can't see actually with this kindergarten. They could have given him the metal ones. But in a normal kindergarten, I couldn't see them giving them plastic giving them metal shovels because that can hurt them so impressive yes i would be impressed if it wasn't so dangerous you literally had me off several of my almost all of my classmates what the hell are you on about being dangerous unfortunately i have no way to prove how dangerous it is and the principal doesn't seem to care what does this have to do with me gaining his trust because he won't let anyone in the hole who he doesn't trust. That's why you're going down there. He doesn't trust you? Of course not. He may be weird, ugly, and disturbed, but he's only a little stupid. He knows I'm out to get him. So what do I do? I need to go, you to go down into the hole and find something. It doesn't have to be much. Just anything we can use to get him in trouble. Like what? I don't know. I just know there has to be something down there. Just go down there and find it. Okay, okay. Good, come back when it's done. Will do. <coughs> Sorry, cough. God. Thank you for coming as Nugget asked. Norm Nugget normally does not have any friends to show his walk to. But today he does. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, fill up the nugget cave. Enter the nugget cave. Yeah, I might as well take the monster on court again. Yeah, but I'm ready to go. What did you find? The dog corpse. 
My dear me, is that, is that, is that Cindy's dog? Nugget! What is it, large teacher lady? Did you kill Cindy's dog? What? No, Nugget would never, well, not never, but, but Nugget is relatively harmless. Don't lie to me. Yeah, don't lie. Relatively harmless? You helped me poison and kill bugs. Hell, you poisoned me and used the antidote as blackmail. You are not harmless. Nugget is that lying. Nugget knows it was the janitor who killed the little puppy. I knew it was you. Oh my god, you just killed him. Oh my, that was unfortunate. Unfortunate, it looked like you purposely pushed him. Well, that didn't go as planned, but I'm relatively pleased with the result. You found another gold store. Uh, yeah, cool. But would you look at that? This playground is completely empty. You've gotten rid of all of your classmates and collected six gold stars. What now? Might go home early. Oh, right. Your reward. Here you go. It's a special lunch pass. You can use it any time you want to have lunch with me. It's my way of protecting my vets for selling out their friends. Thank you. Nope. There's no one left to teach today, so I'm going to take off. What about me? Look, kid. I thought I can run a gold store. Or you can start walking home. Choice is yours. I'll walk home then. Good. I'll see you tomorrow. Row. Toodles. Oh, boy. Well, just in time for my alarm to go off in 20 seconds. Well, I guess this episode is over with. I had a bit of trouble figuring out what to do in the beginning. I knew there was something where Nugget poisoned us, but I didn't know what. I didn't know what it was. But I am glad that this is over with. This episode is over with. My throat's hurting me a bit. Adios, amigos. I'll see you all next week.